So when thinking about a project for our VEX IQ robotic competition, we decided to look at hardware companions. We decided to investigate people's relationships with a robotic pet through spontaneous postings and school-wide discussions. Our results showed that by engaging this group of participants, drawing on the conceptions of technological essence, lifelike essences, mental states, and social rapport, a high percentage of the participants showed happy or positive emotions when discussing the benefits of having a companion, such as a robotic dog. However, participants showed little knowledge of robotic pets and their abilities to bring happiness to others. We felt this project would be a good way to bring awareness to others, challenge traditional boundaries, extend our conceptions of self, companionship, and community, and begin to replace interactions with live pets. The research contributes to a growing literature on the human-robotic relationship. So we decided to first talk about what are the therape therapeutic effects of having a robotic pet. Some compared to animal-assisted therapy used to calm behaviors, mood disturbances, and increase the quanti quantity and quality of social interactions. With the elder elderly and sick in homes and communities, however, it's not always possible to bring live animals into these into these settings due to allergies, risk of injury to patients, staff, or visitors, and of cleaning up after the animals. With companion robots, there is no need to feed, walk, or clean up afterwards. They require less care than living animals. Studies on effects of robotic dogs are limited, but some research suggests that robotic pals may be effective substitutes for living animals. In one study at a retirement home, researchers found that many residents preferred to touch a, and interact with the robotic dog over a real dog, like a pet Jack Russell Terrier, where while the dog could choose with, with who it interact, interacted, the robot could be placed on the lap of any resident and would respond to that person. Our question is, can a robotic dog help people with disabilities? Uh, our reason, the reason we, we chose this project is that we feel that a robot, a ro robotic dogs can help make people healthier and make them feel better. Our hypothesis is a robotic dog can help because they can help people with disabilities, like people with allergies, people who cannot physically take care of a dog, and people who are depressed. Our materials are a computer for coding, wires, lights, steel, metal, fake fur, a speaker, battery, a battery pack, and marbles. Our research and procedure came up with our big question. We researched pictures of robotic dogs. We all we came up with our reason. We came up with our hypothesis. We created a model slash sketch of our robotic dog. We searched online for a list of materials. We started making our list of for our research. We made our project title. We created a prototype robotic dog. We started to make our conclusion. conclusion. Based on our research, we could conclude that a robotic dog can change the world because they are used for therapy purposes. Some people even do funerals for robotic dogs. Some people have allergies, so they can't have a dog, so they can, so they get a robotic dog to have. Kids have with autism interact more with a robotic dog than a simple me mechanical toy dog. 